where are you at with that defensive core? And, you know, do you feel that they're strong enough? Do you think do you think that Klingberg's been a fit? I mean, you know, where are you at? Okay, so Klingberg, I mean, this, this, the book is pretty much written on Klingberg. He's, he's a good puck mover. He can shoot the puck. They, they would like him to shoot it more. Uh, defensively, is going to be a challenge, right? Like, that should be a, you know, that profile of player is a, is a third pair guy, but you're paying him four million bucks. So he's not going to be on your third pair. What bothered me last night that gave me a little pause was twice Trevor Moore dusted Liljegren on a tight spin in a cycle and he was gone. I was like, oh boy, because they need him to be better, right? They need Liljegren right. to be to be a, a player for them, like not just a, one of the six. They, because it's going to be so hard to add to them. I, I think they're thin. I mean, I, I think that's pretty obvious looking at them. But when I look around, I'm like, how many teams have a really good one through six D? Well, Boston does, but they're going to, you know, tomorrow the Leafs get them without their top pair, right? Like you, you couldn't have a, you couldn't have a better runway tomorrow. Team got, you know, got spanked the other night. Um, they come in here, you got a, a Bruins team that hasn't lost yet um, and is missing their top D pair. Like, that, this is a really good chance for them. But for the Leafs D, I mean, like, I mean, Brody and Riley are a really good pair. Is McCabe and Klingberg, are you going to be able to hang a, a second pair hat on them? That that seems like a lot. That's you my know, concern, like, Ray. That's my concern. And, like, Giordano's the oldest guy in the league, and he's still battling and playing, but at some point it's going to stop. It happened last year. They got to the playoffs and it had stopped. And, you know, you mentioned Lilligren. I, I, what stood out to me last night, and it's been very evident throughout his young career, is Pucks go in his corner every single time. Every single time. Like, if you have a choice to go in his corner or Giordano's corner or whoever he's playing with, McKay, Brody, Riley, it's always his corner. And he gets beat on four checks just way too That's easy. That's why they keep throwing it. Well, there. exactly. I mean, the book is out, yeah. obviously. But and then Klingberg is a guy you can skate wide on him, and he probably won't push you out. You know, it just that's that's two of your three guys on the right side who forget October hockey. Wait until you get to April. You know, mm-hmm. May. Like that's that kind of stuff can't happen. You get exposed in those areas too often. You're going to lose series. It's it really becomes almost the same story as last year is that you knew they were going to have a good regular season. It's a good team. Like, they've mm-hmm. got lots of really good players. But the whole story was going to be what happens in April and May. And they won one round, and then they lose the second round. And it really doesn't matter what they do for six months till they get near the trade deadline and go, okay, what can happen with the team? You know, like, what what are they going to find between now and then? Are they going to find, like, maybe at some point could Nyes be a fit? up on one of those top two lines on a regular basis. They certainly need, you know, the, the two guys they spent a lot of money on, or their most money was Klingberg and Bertuzzi. And, I mean, Bertuzzi's got one point of five on five this year. Like, they, if he doesn't, you know, get rolling a bit, then that's going to be a big hole for them. 